Hey everyone, and welcome to part four of my web design series. On the last episode, I have finished the design for the Open Mind website, a startup company from San Francisco I've been working with. And today I'm actually going to develop the website in Webflow. And so the first thing when I approach uh, building a website in Webflow is kind of, of course, uh, exporting all the assets I need to build them, but also do a little bit of planning. So um, this is the website that we have right now. Basically, it's uh, one long um, kind of a home page. Another page, um, Open Mind is a is a service that connects you with a mentor, and so the other website is for mentors to sign up and apply to become a mentor. Um, basically, those are the two pages that I will be building, and so I have export all the assets um, and collected them here in a folder um, for the assets. Um, as you can see in Sketch, I've course rename them and, and export most of them as SVG so it will be light and, and easy to use and scalable and will look great on uh, on retina the second thing that I'm doing uh, at this point I'm not really designing in sketch the mobile version of the website uh, because for me it's most of the time it's a waste of time because when I'm implementing it in Webflow it's just easy for me to switch to uh, switch to the mobile and just fix and, and you know restructure what's needed most things are pretty straightforward you know if you have kind of two columns then obviously the one on the left here is going to be on top of these uh, in this specific website we have a little bit more complicated layouts like here and in this case I think I'm just gonna put the kind of like the timeline line on the left and then uh, the text on the top and below the illustration so I'll restructure this um, this obviously is going to break down into um, you know one column where this is above this above this um, here as well two columns it's easy this will be on top of this here I'll have to restructure so the text is above this so I'm um, basically I'm doing this kind of thinking in my head because depending on how I want to restructure this for mobile or for you know general response uh, responsiveness I will have to create um, you know the, the right structure in Webflow obviously I will be using a lot of Flexbox which is the kind of the main tool uh, in CSS that allows you for a lot of uh, flexibility so um, yeah I'm pretty much I feel like I'm ready yeah the only other thing that I had to do is we're using a font called Europa in this uh, website and so Europa is a font from Typekit so I've created here a Typekit with this font so I'll be uh, able to connect this Typekit into Webflow and use this uh, font on my website I feel like I'm pretty uh, pretty much ready it's time to get to work Right, so we are about two and a half hours in and I've got about half of the home page built um, check this out so this is already um, built in Webflow everything here is already HTML CSS developed with even some minor interactions over the buttons here um, I've finished up until here the how it works section and uh, everything is already kind of responsive mobile responsive um, had to do some adjustments around here for example those um, text things are gonna be replaced by this text because uh, the characters are too tight um, the timeline that I have here in the center uh, moves here to the left getting the timeline right was a bit tricky but uh, it took me a while I did this wrong in the beginning then I had to restructure this but finally with the flex box which is a super amazing tool I got this right and uh, I feel pretty confident that I can finish this off today. Um, maybe not all the cool interaction and animation that I wanted, but I, I have a deadline. I want to send this off to Max ready today so I can get some comments and then I'll do a little bit of improvements um, later on this week. So I think I'm going to take a little blunt break and then power off to finish this off today.
and we are done. So it's been exactly five hours since I started the development of the website, and it's basically finished. Let me show you how it turned out. So uh, this is the home page. We've already seen this before. What I've added now is the student case studies um, and the pricing model. And what are you going to learn? So there is kind of an infinite scroll here of like 30 something subjects that was scrolling and it's actually scrolling seamlessly forever. Uh, with the get a mentor, this is the become a mentor um, page. So here basically is the features for why would you want a mentor. Basically it's that it took me like about 10 minutes uh, because this page is very very similar uh, and I used Webflow symbols uh, so that I can reuse content such as the footer such as the carousel of the subject so then I can um, you know create multiple pages if I change this element on one page uh, it's gonna change it on the other page so um, yeah basically that's it I'm actually pretty exhausted um, it was a bit more complicated than I thought but overall, I think that's crazy, like building a whole website from scratch in like five hours. For me, this is still crazy, even though I've been doing that a lot. And if that doesn't mean that Webflow is crazy, then I don't know what is. Um, and that you should definitely, definitely check it out and go learn it. Um, actually, I've been getting so much Webflow work lately and I have to do another website tomorrow that I will probably be looking for people to help me with Webflow work. So if you've been learning it, um, I will post a video looking for help pretty soon. So do your Webflow homework. Anyway, I really like how this website uh, turned out. It's like, I feel like it turned out really, really clean. I like how the color scheme came out. The illustrations are really nice. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with it. Overall, I think it was almost a one month. I'm, I'm still gonna do a little more tweak in the upcoming days. I'm gonna add a little more interactions, uh, but I wanna send this to Max right now and see if he's got some feedback. So probably I believe that we're gonna be working on it an extra week, but overall for one month's project, I feel pretty good about this and it was great to collaborate with Max on it. Um, so let's see, I think that Max told me that he's launching a new product next week and so he wants to have this live. So probably not by the time that you're watching this video, um, but I will check the description for uh, Open Mind website and hopefully you'll see the website live. Anyway, hope you find this useful and have a great day. I'll get you guys tomorrow.